my heart just left out to go to go help because I love to serve. Serving has always been one of my things, VBS, Sunday school, whatever. I was thinking that I was going to serve them. It's very hard not to get into um, the fleshly side of thinking that um, you're doing something good, you're serving. Lord, look at what I'm doing for you. Um, I try to prepare myself thinking, okay, I'm gonna have to do everything for them. That's what I'm expecting. I'm gonna have to do everything for them. They, they can't do anything by themselves. It was really difficult. And I felt like quitting and I felt like I wanted to go home. It was just kind of like, oh God, why'd you make me come here? And they're gonna serve the campers in such a great way and bring them close to Christ and all like that. Yet when you talk to them at the end of a term, over and over you'll hear, I didn't do anything. I did nothing for that child. They taught me more of life, they taught me more of Jesus, they taught me more of God's love than I ever knew existed. I just was really amazed on how sudden my heart changed. It was so cool because each camper and each CIA, you could see how close they were getting and how like alike they were. The kids minister to me by being in love with God. I really appreciate what they go through because they go through so much every day and they just praise God for it. You may be doing every physical thing possible that they need done, but emotionally they're connecting with you and they're showing you the joy that they have in their lives and it's just unbelievable. The campers are, are a blessing that you cannot measure. That changed my life because I really realized it's not about me. It's about putting other people first, and that's what the Lord calls us to do. I just, I just appreciated my life a lot more. I just felt that I take my life for granted a lot. These kids give me such an inspiration to do more. This week has totally changed my relationship with God. I've touched a place where I've never touched before. It's been like it touched my heart in so many ways. You just see pockets of ministry. We know it's not just about fun, so time is such an essence in our ministry. We do fight the clock on reaching all the campers that we want to. Because of the hundreds of campers that have come through camp, we've already filled our cross with plaques to remember those who are no longer on this earth. Your heart gets heavy because you know you know not all of these kids are going to come back next summer and it's not going to be a financial situation that decides that. I want to know that that little seven-year-old doesn't just have a great week of fun but that she knows about Jesus and that she knows he cares. We need help. We know that for every camper that comes through here there are literally a thousand others who are not getting to come in here. Our program doesn't say you have to give the full $600 sponsorship. Our program says you will be blessed by giving, and, and I can say it with all confidence, you will be blessed. Hey, I've only got $20 I can give right now. Times are tough for me. But you know what? I bet I could get a couple of my friends to do the same. And when those friends do it again, before you know it, you have it. And most all of these children's parents are doing at least some part of that $600. It may be the day before camp before I find a sponsor for every one of those kids, but I'm not going to give up because camp is important to their salvation.